everybody. Welcome back to our market update. My name is Ingrid. Jose Zuniga with Academy Morgan. Okay, so we're back with the market update for our total market report this week, which was a holiday. Yeah. So the numbers are going to be a little interesting. Yeah. All right. So for total active listings, drum roll, please. <laughs> All right. Thank you. 301 active listings. That's 10 more than the week before. And for pending, we have 288 and that's minus 17. Yeah. But then again, that's also, I mean, for the 4th of July, I mean, a lot of families were out camping. Yeah. Um, uh, thinking about, you know, going out of town, not worrying about, you know, putting offers on a home yeah. yet. But this week, I think uh, it will be a lot different. All right. So there are 10 more houses that are on the market that are active and there are less houses pending. So that means that there are more options for buyers to go out there and shop. If there's someone with low credit or bad credit, how do you, how would, how could they navigate that? Especially because right now it's, there's a little shift in the market going on where if people want to buy a house, they could definitely take advantage of this opportunity. The first thing that we do when somebody applies is we uh, check the credit mm -hmm. and if the credit isn't uh, up to par to some of the programs, then we do give them advice on what they can do to bring up okay. the credit score. And sometimes that just takes or paying down some of their credit card balances. And you'd be surprised some of those people, their credit score goes up by a few points or over 20, it just depends. But it's important to come in and get that squared away and you, you're not out there, you know, just wondering what your credit score is like or if you're pre-approved or not or what you can do because there are options on what you can do. So if someone's a first time home buyer, what are the requirements that they would need to qualify for a home loan for first time home buyers? Uh, there are plenty of programs out there that could help first time home buyers. And there's some down payment assistance programs. Uh, most of those require a 620 credit score. And, oh, 620? Yeah, 620 credit okay. score. And uh, a lot of people uh, would be able to qualify under that credit score requirement. But we also do check income, assets, some of those programs. So it sounds like if someone is close to 620 or 620 and above in credit score, they could definitely give you a call and we could start looking at homes. Yeah, definitely. Give us a call and then we'll help you get pre-approved. And if you have any questions, yeah, just give us a call and let us know. Sounds good. And then we can go look at houses. Yeah, Inger can show you those houses. All right, see you guys next week. See ya. Peace. Go Mariners. <laughs>